It's July and it's getting hot. Just like the deals at Appalachian Wireless. All month, get the Samsung Galaxy S8 for just a penny with a two-year agreement. But don't wait because the deal ends soon. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Several Democratic members of Kentucky's legislative delegation are asking for a change of course from Governor Matt Bevin on dental and vision coverage for Kentucky's working poor. At a press conference in Pikeville Tuesday, several Eastern Kentucky House Democrats and others appealed to Governor Matt Bevin to reverse a new policy that has stripped hundreds of thousands of Kentuckians of vision and dental coverage through the state's expanded Medicaid program. The legislators said the projected savings will not be enough to justify the harm done by not only adversely affecting Kentucky's overall health, but also negatively affecting the state's economic well-being. The truth is, eliminating oral health services for Kentucky's working families who qualify for expanded Medicaid coverage amounts to a 1% savings in the expanded Medicaid budget. 1%. An area that hasn't been talked about much is that expanded Medicaid coverage in Kentucky adds $3.5 billion to our economy. People, these are jobs. <clears throat> a century of having a large uninsured population brought us the worst health outcomes in the United States and it damn near bankrupted us. House Democratic Leader Rocky Adkins said House Democrats drafted a letter to the Cabinet for Health and Family Services demanding answers as to how the Bevan administration came to its decision to strip the vision and dental coverage. And the letter basically says we want to know how you did this, the elimination of benefits, and we want to know why you did it. It's thrown a lot of chaos into the, uh, into the medical community that serves and uh, basically provides care for our population, not only in eastern Kentucky, but throughout Kentucky. Those speakers in attendance Tuesday promised the fight is not over to get the vision and dental coverage restored for Kentucky's working poor, and also to stop any further Medicaid cuts by the Bevan administration. The vast majority of these people are working poor who can't afford health insurance and now have been arbitrarily ripped from them. We shouldn't be living or dying or suffering or not suffering based on the size of our lives. Everybody should have a basic level of health care in this country. Reporting in Pikeville, Chris Anderson, EKB News.